CBO or cost based optimization parameters. Now we've looked at some parameters related to the optimizer itself. One of those was cursor sharing, so we won't actually discuss that one in this movie, but it is highlighted. We have various parameters that will affect the way that the optimizer uses statistics. In other words, cost based optimization uses statistics in order to decide how to execute SQL code statements. DB file multi block read count. You need to remember most of these details. The one point to note is you shouldn't randomly change Oracle database configuration parameters without understanding exactly what they do and what their implications are. There are so many parameters in an Oracle database configuration that changing one can affect many other things. Quite often a change to one parameter can imply or require a change to other parameters. What does DB file multi-block read count do? The default is generally set to something like 4, 8 or 16. All it does is that whenever the database decides to read something using a SQL code statement, if DB file multi-block read count is set to 8 for instance, then every read will read 8 blocks from the disk. If it's set to 1, then every read will read a single block. If it's set to 16 or 32, for instance, then every read will read 16 or 32 blocks at the same time. 32 consecutive blocks. In other words, if you've got an OLTP database and you want to read a single row, there's not much point in reading 32 blocks because you could be reading thousands, hundreds, millions of rows, depending on your row size, of course, and obviously your block size. In a data warehouse, which is heavily I.O. dependent, it makes sense to have an extremely high DB file multi-block read count because most of your reads will read generally entire tables or large portions of the data in a single set of data and generally that data is going to be sequential quite often depending on how the database was generated but typically a data warehouse is organized in a way such that the way the data is input into the database is generally extracted quite often in a similar fashion to that which it was inserted. For instance, a data warehouse is updated, say, on a daily basis. All the records pushed in today have today's date. Typically, reports that run off that database are going to sort in some way based on dates, quarters, years, etc., etc. So you may have some kind of compatibility between the physical and logical structural requirements. All you need to remember is that DB file multi-block read count needs to be small for small transactional OLTP databases and it needs to be large for large transactional data warehouse databases.